Hi everyone and welcome to another Christmas vlog. If you haven't seen my last couple of vlogs then you should definitely go and watch those ones first but if you're all caught up then welcome back. Today it is currently the 20th of December and I have got a lot to update you guys on because I think it's been almost a week or over a week since I have filmed one of these vlogs. So reason for that being in my last vlog that I did I did talk a little bit about how I was feeling mentally and that I was struggling a little bit to film videos because of several different reasons one of them being like my self-confidence and stuff like that so after I ended that vlog I decided to take a couple day break and then I tried to film again and when I tried to film again I couldn't even finish a clip because I was just feeling really not good about myself so I was like you know what I think I'm gonna call it quits on the whole vlogmas thing because it's just too difficult it's stressing me out too much and I just want to be able to enjoy the rest of December and then yesterday is when my last vlog video went live up on my channel and this morning I woke up to such lovely comments on that video of people saying how much they've enjoyed watching these and to please make more and so y'all have inspired me and I am back for maybe one more vlog possibly two we'll see how much I can film for this but yes apologies that I took an entire week break but I really needed it for my mental health but now we're back I'm feeling good a lot of the things I had kind of been stressed about are over at this point so to give you a little bit of an update on what I've been doing basically for this last week I haven't been doing much reading I've mainly been working and crocheting because I definitely took on too many crochet projects for December. I wanted to make a lot of gifts for a lot of people and I don't think I gave myself enough time so I quickly rushed and made a couple of the projects and like I didn't rush the projects like they all came out as nice as I planned them to be um, but I did have to dedicate a lot of my time to crocheting and getting these things finished and some of them I've already gifted to people so I finished a couple scarves over this last week and so far I've given them to two people and they seem to really like them which made me very happy so I've been doing a lot of crocheting I've been doing a lot of just working because it's the holiday season I work retail at a Christmas gift shop so this is like our most insane time of the year and uh yeah people are so jolly at this time of the year um I got cussed out by a customer the other day so that was fun um but the other thing that I was working on this week was that I planned a little party at my apartment like a little Christmas party I invited a couple of my friends over we ordered pizza and we played Monopoly and it was so much fun um but I had to that day like deep clean my entire apartment because one of my friends is allergic to cats and I have two of them so he's not like deathly allergic because if he was then he wouldn't have come over but he's allergic enough that I needed to wait until like right before the party to really clean everything so that the cats wouldn't have enough time to like get their hair and stuff over everything again so it was kind of stressful that day like preparing everything in one day but once it was done I had such a fun time and also I had a clean apartment at the end of it so that was good and I feel not as stressed as I was earlier in the week. As far as my reading goes I haven't been doing a whole lot of reading but the only book that I have picked up over this last week was The Return of the King so I'm now on page 880 which is that far into the book. I think that means I'm about a hundred and 50 pages into it if I am doing my math correctly because the book starts at 731 or something like that so I'm about 150 pages into this I've got a little less than 200 to go but I'm hoping that I will be able to finish this by around Christmas time which should give me another couple of days after that to squeeze in my last book of the year. But while I still slowly make my way through this up until Christmas, I do think I'm going to start another book today. And I kind of teased this in my first Vlogmas video. I said I was going to pick up my first ever manga or manga. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's manga. But let me know in the comments and I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but I have always kind of looked into manga over the last couple years. I've had a couple recommended to me over the years like Fruit Basket, Baskets, Attack on Titan, Death Note, and there was one other one that was called like something 
bride something's bride not the corpse bride that's different but something with bride in the title i don't remember but there's just so many of them that i find it very overwhelming and i just never knew where to start and a lot of them seem to be like very long series so i was always afraid of like starting one and committing to like that much reading even though i know that they probably read pretty quickly because they're pretty much like graphic novels um but then the other month <laughs> i was gonna say the other day but this was over a month ago now i came across this manga so this is the nightmare before christmas zero's journey the ultimate manga edition and i thought this is perfect it's characters and like a story I'm already familiar with and it's I believe a completed story so it's not like I'm going to commit myself to an entire series by starting this so I thought this would be the perfect place to start with my little manga reading journey but of course if you have any other recommendations for me based off of what you know I enjoy reading when it comes to regular novels let me know in the comments because if I enjoy reading this I would like to pick up more manga in the future so in case you're not familiar the thing that sets like manga apart from just any other graphic novel is that it reads backwards so while this would normally be the back of the book this is the front of the book and while this would normally be the front of the book it is the back of the book so I know there's going to be a bit of a learning curve when it comes to reading this but I'm hoping once I get used to it I will really enjoy this and it seems like a good time of year to pick it up because I believe this is about zero getting lost in Christmas Town, so it feels like a nice festive one to pick up for the holiday season. So I'm hoping to pick this up tonight. It is currently about five o'clock when I'm filming this because today is my last day off before Christmas. So I work tomorrow through Christmas Eve. So I was getting a lot of errands and stuff done today and I actually just got home from running errands. So now I'm actually able to do some stuff. But in about like a half hour, 40 minutes maybe, me and my mom are going to go out and look at Christmas lights and just drive around and look at the lights in the area. That probably won't take us very long and then when we get home I can start on some other things like reading this book and I also really need to wrap presents tonight as well as work on my current crochet project. So I know I talked a little bit about my crochet earlier but I completed a couple scarves over this week and I watched a lot of festive movies while I worked on these projects. Some of the movies that I watched would include Beauty and the Beast and Enchanted Christmas, which is one of my favorites to watch during the holidays. Tim Curry plays the voice of the villain, which is lovely. So that's one of my favorites that I try to watch every single year. It also has my favorite Disney song ever in that movie. I don't know if this song ever has an official title because you can't really find it anywhere. Like it's not on Spotify. I, you can't really find this song on any soundtrack, but I think it's called stories if I would imagine that it has a title. If you like to read books like I do, you should try and find this song on YouTube and listen to it because it's like all about Belle's kind of love for books and how she wants to show that to the beast and it's just my favorite Disney song ever. Um, another movie that I watched for the first time actually was Arthur Christmas. I don't know why I waited so long to watch this movie because now that I've seen it, it is so cute. It's just such a sweet wholesome movie but it's also super funny so I loved watching that as well. But tonight actually The Grinch is going to be on TV at 8 p.m. so I'm hoping that we will be home from looking at the lights before then so that we're home in time to watch that. It's the Illumination version um, where Benedict Cumberbatch voices The Grinch and I haven't seen it since I saw it in the theaters and I've really wanted to watch it again because I thought it was a really cute adaptation of The Grinch. So I want to watch that and while we watch that I'm going to work on my current crochet project which is this scarf. So the yarn that I'm using looks like this. It's a beautiful like winter wonderland gradient and at the moment I thought the gradient would work up a bit quicker than it is right now. Like this looks like it's all one color but it is slightly lighter up here than it is down here so I don't know if this is working out exactly how I was hoping it was going to but my plans for this my heat just kicked on so I'm sorry if that is loud in the background but my plans for this is that it is going to be a part of a cosplay that I am doing for my job on Christmas Eve I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet if you would like to make guesses in the comments feel free but I have to finish this before Christmas Eve. So that is my current crochet project. So I think I'm going to start this and just read a little bit of it before we go to see the Christmas lights and then when we get home is when I will focus on my 
my crochet and wrapping some more presents. So it is now the next night. I did have to go to work today and I'm not gonna lie, it was a very stressful day at work and I feel pretty exhausted right now. But last night I did have a very fun festive time. We went to see the lights and we just drove around which was a nice time. And then before we came home, we actually stopped at a local bookstore that I haven't been to in a couple of years because it's kind of out of the way of anywhere that I go even though it's local. So I mean to go there more often than I do but it's such a cute little shop and it was all decorated for Christmas so I thought I would treat myself to an early little Christmas gift and I picked up The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I'm gonna be honest I don't really know what this is about except that I think it's about books and I've heard that this has a lot of literary references in it which sounds like a lovely time um, but also this book was written by Erin Morgenstern who also wrote The Night Circus which is one of my all-time favorite books and I love like every element of that book. I love the writing, the characters, the atmosphere, the world building, the plot of it, like everything I just love about that book. So I hope that I will feel the same about this one. It also has a beautiful cover as well. So I thought I would treat myself to an early little Christmas gift. And then when we got home, we did watch The Grinch and I wrapped a whole bunch of presents. I think I wrapped presents for a good like hour and a half and I wrapped all of the gifts for all of my coworkers as well as a couple of my friends. So then after that, I did get around to reading about half of Zero's Journey. So I am this far into it. So literally, I'm like halfway through it. And so far, I am enjoying it. This is a very just cute little story. Like, I don't have too much to say about it because it's, you know, very simple um, sort of story, but it is very cute. I feel like I got used to the format of reading it backwards pretty quickly although I will be honest I did not realize that well you read the page from right to left like you read the right page first and then the left page you also have to read that individual page from right to left which I did not realize at first so for the first couple of pages I was reading the dialogue backwards and I was like this doesn't make any sense and then I realized and then after that I feel like I got used to it pretty quickly so I read through that half pretty fast so I think I might try and read some of it tonight but like I said I am very tired from work today. Today was just such a mentally draining day for many reasons um, but when I get got home I did work a little bit on crocheting my scarf project. The gradient really was not working well for me. I feel like in this lighting you can kind of tell how it gets darker and then it got a little bit lighter but then it just seemed to be the same color for ages. So I actually ended up cutting it, rolling the same color into a little ball until I got to the lighter color and then I just added it on there. So it'll have a little bit more of a striping effect. I kind of wish I'd have done it sooner to be completely honest with you but hopefully it will look okay in the end and it will kind of have, you know, the inspiration behind it for the character that I'm doing this cosplay on. Again, if you have any guesses, let me know in the comments. 
but I think I am probably going to wrap some presents tonight being that there's only a couple more days left until Christmas I really want to like wrap everything like put everything in my mom's stocking and make sure that I have like enough stocking stuffers to fill her stocking make sure I've got all the cards that I need because I only have a couple days to pick up this stuff if there's anything that I am missing so I'm gonna try and do that tonight and not fall asleep standing up because I'm not kidding when I say I'm like so exhausted. Um, I also know that I do have to open some more days in my sock calendar. I think we might do that tomorrow night because like I said I, I've got stuff to do and I don't feel well. Um, but I do know I have some more days to open. We haven't opened any in this vlog yet but we will do that before I end this vlog. I think I'm gonna end this tomorrow night and then start another one for you know Christmas Eve and Christmas um, because I really want to get this up like on Christmas Eve or at the very least before <laughs> Christmas Day. So yes, those are my plans for tonight slash tomorrow. I have to go to work again tomorrow so I don't think I'll get like a ton done but we'll see what I can do. So yes, hopefully I will update you guys again sometime soon. Hi guys, so it is now the next night, which makes it December 22nd. I had to go to work today, and I have to say I actually had a pretty decent day at work as far as like my mental health goes. It wasn't like a very frustrating day, like work has been a lot recently. There were actually a lot of moments today where we were laughing and having a good time despite like rude customers or anything like that. So I actually had a pretty decent day today. I also got quite a bit of reading done, so I did did finish Zero's Journey. I think I'm giving this four out of five stars. Like I said before, this is just like a really cute story. It is very like simple, so it has a very simple like resolution to it and everything like that. It's not very complex, but I still thought it was really cute and a nice little addition to the Nightmare Before Christmas universe. It definitely is a great one to read during the holidays because it is primarily set in Christmas Town. This also gives Zero a little like origin story which was both cute and very sad at the same time. I mean obviously Zero is a ghost dog so his origin is always going to be kind of grim but I did think it was cute. I don't really know if this would be considered like canon in the Nightmare Before Christmas universe but it, if it is I would be satisfied with this as Zero's origin story. I have officially read my first ever manga and I thoroughly enjoyed it so like I had mentioned earlier in this vlog if you have any recommendations of where I should go from here in my manga journey then do let me know in the comments and then I 
I did also read a little bit of The Return of the King, so I'm now on page 900, which puts me about 110 pages from the end of the book, not including the appendix, which I think I talked to you guys about in my last vlog. I'm not really sure if I'm going to read the appendix currently or if I'm just going to mark this as read once I finish the actual Return of the King book and then I will read the appendix at a later date. I think I'm probably going to end up doing that because we are starting to kind of run out of time in December and I still technically have two books left to finish my reading challenge including this being one of the books. So yes that is my update with reading. I did also want to show you guys another piece of my cosplay that I'm going to be doing on Saturday. So I showed you guys that I'm still working on the scarf which I have not made any progress on since the last time I talked to you guys about it. I did wrap more presents last night and I am officially done wrapping presents. I think this is the first time that I will ever not have to wrap presents on Christmas Eve because I was always so bad about wrapping gifts but I have been on top of both purchasing and wrapping presents this year so I'm very proud of myself. Anyways back to my cosplay. On my break at work today I wanted to go into the mall and look for some shoes that I could possibly wear because I do have white like combat boots that I was going to wear but I'm wearing like a pretty nice dress and I felt like the combat boots um just didn't look as nice with the dress I kind of wanted something a little bit dressier if that makes sense so I found shoes I wanted white shoes like completely white and my combat boots have like a lot of black detailing on them even though they're mainly white so I wanted completely white shoes and I found shoes that are so perfect for this. They will not help you at all in determining what my cosplay is because it's very much like an inspired cosplay. The character that I'm cosplaying is also a male but I am doing like a female version of it so you will this will not help in your guessing of what the character is. But anyways let me show you the shoes. Get ready for it. Yes. I am finally going to be tall. I'm only 5'2", and I feel like this will add to the inspiration of the character because without giving too much away, the character is a part of like a duo and the one is very, the one that I'm doing is very much like the tall skinny dude. So I feel like this is really going to be helpful in making me look a little bit taller and like lankier and more like the character even though these are obviously not the shoes that he would have been wearing but I feel like this goes perfectly for the cosplay that I am doing and these were only $40 at Nordstrom Rack and because they're like such platform shoes they're actually pretty easy to walk in. These are like my favorite kind of shoes to wear. I love wearing platforms so I had no problem like walking around in these but I am so excited to wear these on Christmas Eve and I think I'm gonna wear these on New Year's also. I've got like quite a few outfits actually that these would go with even though I primarily wear black I do sometimes wear like black and white stripes and stuff like that so white shoes would still go perfectly with a lot of my outfits so I wanted to show you guys these because I think they're just super cool and like I said they were only $40 at Nordstrom Rack so yes those are the shoes for my cosplay now I do really need to finish that scarf because the scarf is like a big piece of the character so I definitely have to do that tonight um, but before we close out this vlog I thought I would open a couple more days in my sock advent calendar because I definitely have fallen behind. Now I will be honest when I took that little week off from filming I did open two days in the calendar. I opened day six and day seven. I'll be honest they were actually like my least favorite socks in this whole calendar. One of them actually said Sandy Claus is my hero, which like, what does that even mean? Um, so anyways, you're not missing much is the point of this story. So now we're going to open day 8 and day 9 because I definitely fell behind a little bit. And the doors still are dysfunctional, so we're just going to pull the sock through the other doorway. So these look like more crew socks and these ones are red. These ones look like they just have more, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so funny based off of what I just said. Sandy Claus is my hero. Again, what does that mean? I have to say, as much as I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Nightmare Before Christmas Santa Claus has to be like my least favorite 
adaptation of Santa Claus. He's just not jolly enough for me, if you know what I'm saying. So Santa Claus is not my hero, unless they're referring to Santa Claus as being like Jack's version of Santa Claus, in which case I do love Jack, but I'm not a fan. Okay, we're going to open day nine now. Again, I'm just gonna <laughs> pull it from one of the other boxes because these doors are just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, these ones are black and white with some red in them and they're another crew sock. And this one looks like it does have Santa Claus Jack on it or Sandy Claus. Now I'm confused. Is Sandy Claus referring to Santa Claus or to Jack's version of Santa Claus? I don't know, but these are pretty cute. We've got Santa Jack on there. Okay, we have one success and one that is kind of a flop. Also, I don't ever really wear red, so mm, I can't see myself wearing these very often. But they're still cute. So, yes, those are the next days in my sock calendar. I think I will probably save the rest of these, maybe to open all of them on Christmas Eve or two on Christmas Eve and one on Christmas Day. We will see, but that brings us to the end of this vlog because it's probably getting a little bit long at this point and I want to start a new one before Christmas. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!